Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we will solve another lead code SQL problem. Uh, today we tackle problem 1280 titled student and examination. So we are given three tables, students, subject and examination. Our task is to find the number of times each student attended each exam and we are supposed to return the result table ordered by student ID and subject name. We will start by uh, performing a cross join operation between students and subject table. This operation will create a new table that combines every row from students with every row from subject. Then we will use a left join to join this table with the examination table. This will ensure that even if a student didn't attend any exam, their record is still included in the final result. Next, we are going to use the count function to count the number of times each uh, student attended uh, each exam. Finally, we will use group by to order a group uh, the result by student ID uh, and subject name and order uh, by sort uh, the result. So uh, here we start implementing SQL query. So select student ID, student name, as u subject name, count uh, subject name, as attended exam from student S cross join subject SU left join examination E on S student ID equal a student ID and SU subject name a subject name group by s student id so subject name order by s student id so subject name so uh, yeah this is our query so let's uh, test it if it's working uh, yes it's working and solve the problem so uh, the result uh, confirmed. So, yeah, given a student, subject, and examination, we output it uh, correctly the uh, students and examination. So, uh, Alice and Bob with, yeah, subject math, physics, uh, programming, math, physics, uh, programming. So, everything perfect and Alex uh, yeah subject ID student ID math physics programming zero attended exams John as well so all is working perfectly so uh, let's run it for unseen test cases hopefully it will work as well so Yes, so it's working as well, but it's like 5% bits, but still uh, everything work. Uh, let's run the query and see if the result is the same. So yeah, it's now it's better 12%, so all good. And remember to hit the like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more SQL and coding tutorial. If you have any question or uh, comments leave them down below uh, see you in the next video happy querying